what's popping everybody this is the cartoon kid ray rollins and today for our random review we are reviewing an episode of ad ad natty called one plus one equals ad very odd name i suppose but before we get into everything man we're gonna have mr alex payne give us the episode breakdown so alex payne come and break it down for us well I think the name is pretty fitting because this episode pretty much just like it starts off with Ed really curious about a lot of things, you know, the light in the refrigerator, the, well, how his feet could smell if they don't have noses, how long the lamp works. <laughs> so it just and then, you know, him, Ed, Eddie and Double D, they just go down this ro- rabbit hole of trying to learn everything that they possibly could because. Well, Ed's curious, Eddie wants to earn money, and Double D is just, you know, a nerd, so he wants to learn stuff anyway. And the ship just descends. Listen, in this episode, they just like, reality? Fuck that. That shit is optional, man. So they just start, like, (laughs) all this, they just start breaking every law of physics they possibly can. Eddie eats the sun, Ed Ed cuts a hole in the friggin' um, sky. It's just like a a whole bunch of crazy ass shit. So yeah, it just follows Eddie and them's curiosity of finding out everything. Okay, okay. Um, I gotta say, though, before we get into everything, man, this episode, at least to me, I'm being very honest here. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a big fan of it. I'm I'm really not. I don't, I don't like it that much. I really don't like it that much. I get, don't get me wrong. I've always been a big fan of comedy. I love comedy in my cartoons. But, and, and this is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. So, obviously, it's going to be stupid, you know, of course. It's about these dumb kids. I mean, minus Double D, the nerd. And so, there's going to be a level of stupidity in every show. But I felt like this one, I don't know. It's a little bit too stupid for my taste, if that makes sense. Like, it felt like the story just, it just, it just wasn't for me. It wasn't clicking for me. What do you think? What Do you feel good, bad, or neutral on this? I think the episode is hilarious as a comedy, like you said. Right. This definitely, because okay. I, I think it's not, you can it's even de- really not centered around story. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely more comedy driven. It wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say it has a story. I think, what I think this episode was, was they just had a whole bunch of, they just said, you know what? We're just going to see how much weird ways we could break reality like like they they even make a whole bunch of references to cartoon like they make a reference to the traditional um animation transition and then Uh they um um i think it was yeah um eddie took um pulled off friggin jimmy's outline (laughs) and shit so i think they were just like let's just get mad and what did you do to jimmy (laughs) don't drink me (laughs) so I think this like I think this was just a, a do as much crazy shit as possible episode. I don't think they was even going for anything. No, of course, of stuff. course. And anybody, even a child, can see that. Yeah. And I don't know. To me, like I said, it just it just didn't click with me. Like, granted, I can't sit here and say like I'm I don't like comedy because it's been proven in the past. Like all the episodes that we do are very comedy centered. You know, Curves the Cowardly Dog being one of them. And it just it just doesn't have that feel like if Courage were able to do something like this, you know, maybe it's the writers or whatever, but it would have a whole totally different feel and it would be more enjoyable to me. And I can't sit here and say, like, it's it's the characters because, granted, I haven't seen Ed and Nettie that much. But from the stuff that I have seen, I feel like I have a good grasp on the characters, you know, so mm-hmm. I can't say it's the characters here. It just felt like something was very off in this episode. But let's get into moments. I'm going to go with one of the moments that (laughs) really (laughs) stuck out to me. And believe it or not, it's the whole Ed checking out the light in the refrigerator. Because Yes, that is the funniest thing to me ever, man. Listen, you don't understand. That's the loudest I laughed in a long time when that moment came. That always is. That has to be my favorite. As dumb as it may sound. No, it's not. To me. That's the funniest moment in any cartoon for me ever. Well, I believe, I believe though, kids, especially as kids, like I don't know if you have, but I'm, I'm sure a good majority of kids have wondered, like, man, does the light in the fridge go out when you shut the door? 
And you but can't really tell because when you <laughs> open the door, the light's on. Obviously, as adults, you know, the light goes off. There's a little switch and whatnot on the door that pushes the light uh, yeah. to turn it off. But as a kid, I and always dude, wondered like I'm not shit? lying to you. But the, the, if, the funny part was like when it was outside and you see the light coming through, it's just, hello, light. Hello, <laughs> light. Hello, light. That shit was fucking, that shit, that shit, you don't understand. That shit murdered me. <laughs> that's one of the big moments that stood out to me. I, I freaking love that. I gotta say, though, it, I gotta, man, Eddie is a greedy motherfucker. And yeah, listen, we mentioned that in the Christmas review we did, but he is a greedy ass motherfucker. <laughs> and I don't, yeah. I don't like the whole, I, I mean, granted, you should do things because you love to do it, you know, not because of money or whatever. And he just freaking breaks that whole theory. He's like, oh, man, are we making money yet? Are we making money yet? And his whole idea is trying to get rich off. I mean, it's not bad. That's why a lot of people like not like creating things or, or want to create stuff because they think they're going to run into millions of dollars. And a good amount of them may. So it's just I don't know. I don't, I don't fuck with Eddie because of that. It's just really, <laughs> this episode really made me realize, like, man, you know what? No matter how much Ed, Ed and Eddie I watch, I ain't going to fuck with you ever. <laughs> but go ahead. What are some of your favorite moments? Um, and I don't. I, I it's a, a little funny moment to me. It's just like at the beginning because you know Eddie's laying in bed and he a fly bother him and then he turn up, turn around and realize it's because Ed in his bed. Oh! <laughs> How could my feet smell if they don't have a nose? Listen, if your feet smell that bad, are that fucking rancid that they attract flies? <laughs> You need some help. You need to see a podiatrist. You need to see somebody for that. Because that, and, and, you know, I don't know. The, the Christmas episode was uh, after this, right? It had um, to be. It had I'm, to be. I, I really want to say, say it was. It was I re- yeah, I think so. But, but, but it's just but at, it creating that whole. Is a running theme for that's show. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, man, I feel bad for Ed, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> And you know what? I don't know why, cause, but that the green clothes he wears really, I don't know, just just really makes me think he stinks even more. Like, I can see the stink on his ass with them clothes. Like, I think that's an ugly color he wears. That's that's just I, that might be the point, actually, now that you mentioned you know, that. Yeah, right. Funny point. But um, keep going. Um, another moment for me was when they was in the dark. Because this is, I feel like this is a very sl- subtle joke in an adult one of that that most people wouldn't, wouldn't really catch easy. It's when they was in the dark and Ed was like, guess what I'm doing? Oh my God. <laughs> Get your hand out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that was funny to me just because of, I, listen, we all know what he was doing. What was he doing? Okay. We, I, listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to spoil it, but I think we all know what he was doing. In there. He was beating his dick. <laughs> at, least, at least I hope it was his. <laughs> That's but... what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? If you got any others. <clears throat> when Eddie pulled Sarah's mouth off, that was funny. Oh, we yeah. already mentioned... We already mentioned the friggin' when he pulled off, um, the, when he pulled off the the outline, the Jimmy outline, Jimmy, yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> when they showed the can sisters in the top, and Eddie was like, "Did you see anything?" And, I just think that's an ugly ass name, the Kanka sisters. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> well, they're not supposed to be appealing, so that probably helps it. But, I know. Um, Ugh. <laughs> And, and this one was a li- it was like a little moment, but it's just when Ed when Eddie kept falling through the hole and Ed picked it up and was like yeah. stuck his head through and you just see his head coming down from the top of the screen. Yup. Like, Hello. <laughs> that sure was funny, but I I think like um that, that oh and at the end when friggin when they I guess they came back to reality I suppose and and and. Ed was trying to take off Sarah's mouth and he just had in a headlock just pulling her mouth. He's like, why won't it come off? <laughs> oh, and then they fell in the sewer pipe and friggin' Ed oh. pulled the entire sewer pipe out of the ground and was running down the street with the sewer pipe. Well, hey. They, they, they did that with the right character with his stinky ass. <laughs> but um, I think that's all my moments. Okay. I'll say this for a positive. 
for true Ed Ed Netty fans, this is a damn good episode. For me, I can't say I'm a huge Ed Ed. I'm being honest. I really can't say I'm a huge Ed Ed Netty fan. Now, who knows? Maybe I've seen all the wrong episodes. I don't know. We did three different reviews on here. But I'm not. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the the characters like that, man. So, either way, though, I will say this is an episode that's definitely enjoyable for a fan. I wouldn't say it's it's negative in any regards. Just the fact that it just wasn't my cup of tea personally. Mm-hmm. But it is for it's probably uh, a person who enjoys the fan the show's cup of tea. My review, I'm gonna say is. It's very comedy, character-focused, obviously. Jokes are centered towards their characters. For example, you see Ed's big old stinky butt up in the <laughs> other Ed's bed. <laughs> he's got flies going all around him and whatnot. And he's like, oh, man, Ed's in here. And he's talking about how his feet stink. You know, you got Ed being his usual dumb self. Eddie being greedy as hell, as I mentioned earlier. You know, this episode is very character-driven. Like I said, you know, I know the characters good enough to see, OK, how these jokes can be funny towards their respective personalities. But with me personally, like I said, I just I just didn't enjoy this episode. I'm being 100 like. I know the characters well, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Maybe it's too comedy centered and not enough story, because don't get me wrong. I love comedy, but I like story more. And this was definitely mm-hmm. comedy driven. It just wasn't story driven, for example. The Dr. LeQuack episode from Courage that we just did two days ago. Yeah, it's definitely, you can argue, somewhat character-driven, but it's it's more comedy-driven. Or even the Granny Stu episode of Courage. Definitely comedy-driven. Something about that made that show, or that episode, rather, more funnier than this. Or both episodes more funnier than this. Well, you could maybe argue the same reason for what you said on this one, because you're a fan of Courage now. Maybe if you just watched that one first, you might not have, you might have felt similar to how you feel about this one. Huh. And that, like, that, may mean, be the, that may be the case. That may be the case. That's actually the case. Honestly, what am I saying? That's definitely the case. I agree 100% with that. Like, I'm just not a fan of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'm just not, I'm not feeling the same love that I feel with it for Courage. And... I'm not sure if I can explain that to anyone who may be watching this per se to to where they might be able to understand it. But try to imagine a show that may have a good episode to a fan of that series. You're watching it. You're not a big fan of it. And you're like, eh, you know, I get how this oh, yeah, can be good to someone else. Yeah, I get how this can be good to someone else. It's just not good for me. It's not my cup of tea. Now, granted, oh, yeah, that's this definitely is, episodes of every show that like. Specifically, you could tell the fans of the show would like this episode. But. Right. I'm going to give this my rating for this episode. I'll hit it with a nice... I'll be generous and hit it with a nice six. Because like I said, it's just not my cup of tea, personally. It's not. But I can see how it can be for other you know, fans of the series. And I'll, I'll say no more on it. I'll toss it over to you. What do you think of this episode? I think this episode is really, really enjoyable. Now, I will say... I, I think I'll, I I think I'd say that I think I, I, there's a lot of things to said, but I'll <laughs> say the, se- the second half, like more specifically towards the end, I think the time between jokes in at least for me personally was seeing the beginning fewer and fewer. But overall, I thought it was a really really enjoyable. Some some of the moments were freaking uh, hilarious, hilarious, like. Like I said, the light, funniest to me. Yeah, of course. I can relate to that. That's why I love it so much. I, I, I don't even think it's that because, like, when, when, like, when you, you just see the light coming, like, I don't know. It probably was just, like, a perfect storm of visuals, the way his voice sounded here in the fridge. Like, hello, light. I would have been so light. mad. Leave the freaking fridge alone. Hello, light. I'm trying to sleep. Hello, you light. Big That's dummy. probably a, and that's part of it, too, because you know it just annoying the fuck out of Eddie, too. And that just adds the humor to it, I feel like. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think, like, that, I would say the highs of this episode were really, really high. And but I, and I, I wouldn't say that this had lows, but there was a lot of, like, mid, mid-range moments, too, I'd say. Okay. But, um, 
I think overall, though, I'm going to have to give this one a nice 7.5. I really enjoy it a lot. Okay, like, okay, pre- okay. Listen, I, it, listen it, if I would, I would give the lights, in, the, the fridge lights in a 10 out of 10. So. Oh, I think you're being too generous. But no, I, listen, is, 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 I don't <laughs> know what it is. Well, there y'all have it, man. Like, see, I feel bad. Like, I'm not a big fan of the series, you know. So that's what took away from this episode for me personally. I know I said it like 90 times, but it's just like, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to dog this episode out. I'm not going to dog it out because, like I said, I see how people can enjoy it. And it's just not, it just wasn't, it wasn't, you know, doing it for me. So I give it a nice 6 out of 10. And Mr. Alex Payne gives that bad boy a nice 7.5 out of 10, man. There y'all have it. That has been our review of that ad Natty. One plus one equals Z. And this is the Cartoon Kid channel where we talk cartoons and we do it daily, baby. Y'all know what it is, man. Toss your comments down in the comments box below. Tell us if you love this episode. Tell us if you hate it. Tell us if you have any new cartoons that you want us to review and any of that good stuff, man. Because we're always looking out for some new stuff. But with that all being said, we will see you when we see you. Peace out, everybody.